guys, I just wanted to do another diet fitness video. I know you guys tend to like these videos. I really like them as well. I'm a very big supporter, you know, of taking care of yourself, taking care of your body. I really think it'll help you in ways more than superficial, you know, but obviously it always feels good to feel good about yourself. One of the most common concerns I get from people are that they don't have enough time. So like, I don't have enough time to go to the gym. I don't have enough time to cook. And, you know, if you don't have enough time to work out, then obviously if you, you know, just watch what you eat, then it can be helpful. But if you're not doing any of those things, then you can't really, you know, expect any changes to happen. To keep doing the same thing and expect things to be different, it just, it doesn't really make sense, you know. But I think what really gets people about, you know, eating at home is that it's inconvenient. I don't really believe that anyone doesn't have enough time because what you could do is, well, this is what a lot of my guy friends do because a lot of my friends are like tool bags. So what they do is they do all their meals and they prepare them for the whole entire week on, you know, Sunday or Monday and they'll do all of their meals for that week. I kind of do a similar thing, but I maybe prepare my meals for about three or four days just because I don't want to eat you know, a week old food. I just would rather do it every three days, every four days. And it really does help because that way once your food is already all cooked, all prepared, all chopped up, then it really gets rid of a lot of your excuses and that way, you know, you'll have the accountability and you'll be like, oh, I, I really need to eat this because I already paid for it, I already made it. And so it'll really help. And that way, you know, preparing your food will only take a minute or two. It'll be really quick. You just nuke it in the microwave. And when it comes down to it, I really think it's about prioritizing because if you think about it, you know, if you go out to eat with your friends, and obviously I go out to meet my friends you know, on the weekends, I really eat whatever I want on the weekends, but when I'm home, I do try to stick to it with someone healthy diet. When you go out with your friends, it really takes you know, maybe two, three hours if you're getting ready for it to go eat out with your friends, you know, because you have to consider the commute there and back, you know, waiting, sitting down for a table, ordering, you know, getting your check and then coming back. And then an extra hour if you're, you know, doing your makeup or trying to look cute, you know, for your friends. So it really does take up a lot of your time and I really think it just comes down, like I said, to having to develop a really good sense of accountability with yourself. You know, if you really want to make a change in your life, then you're really going to have to learn to cut out the excuses and just do it, you know, because if you're not going to do it, then no one's going to do it for you and it's just not going to happen ever. I'm going to show you guys how I prepare my meals and how I prepare all my foods to make it a little bit easier to stick to, you know, healthy eating and whatnot. And so I'll show you guys right now. So here I just have some broccoli and cauliflower. I'm just going to steam it using the rice cooker, usually for about 6 or 10 minutes depending on how big the pieces are and how tender you like it. Steaming is really good because it preserves not only the color and the flavors but also the nutritional value of food. Also it's a pretty quick way of cooking things without having to look at it. So to give it some flavor, I'm just going to, yeah my roommates have burned a lot of stuff onto here. It sucks. But oh well. I'll get new ones when I move out. I'll take like maybe like a heaping tablespoon of oyster sauce. It's just this Chinese sauce. I don't know. I can't really describe it, but I really like it with broccoli and cauliflower. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just taking water and mixing them together. And what this does is it kind of thins it out so that way all the broccoli and cauliflower can get a little bit of a coat of the oyster sauce without being you know, drenched in it. So I have all my steamed broccoli and cauliflower. I'm just going to mix it up and just toss it really quickly and that's it. So now I just mix it all together. Now you just put it in a container and just divvy it out whenever you want to eat it. It just makes it a little bit easier. And that way it doesn't taste so boring because I know veggies can be kind of boring. And they are, but really good for you. <laughs> and then for my chicken, I just marinate it all at once in this little container. Just a little container. I do like maybe two or three days at once and cook it all up at the same time. And I'm just using this 30 minute marinade sesame ginger one. I also like their Caribbean jerk one. This is Ralph's brand, I believe. Yeah, it's Ralph's brand. It's like $1.50 per container. I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh my gosh, there has to be salt in there and all these things. Well, I only maybe use a few tablespoons for, you know, maybe six breasts or so. I still think it's a lot better than eating out, whatever you could be eating when you're eating out. So pretty much with any of your food, you can just keep it all separated like this and just divvy it out and eat it as you go. Or, you know, if you work or you have like on the go at school. What I used to do when I'd be on campus all day, you know, back when I was taking a lot of classes, I would just make little lunch boxes like this. And, you know, if the plastic thing bothers you, just buy glass ones. It's okay, but it's a lot heavier. And I have some chicken, some brown rice, and some broccoli in there. This is kind of a little small, but you know, I do eat every three hours. What most guys do that I've seen, they just seriously do their meals for the whole entire week or for like half the week and they do the rest of the week. And that way you're really only cooking one hour out of the week and then you have your meals prepared every single day of the week. And these actually really hold up well when you freeze them. And what I do is too, I would keep some in the freezer. And so if I didn't have any time to cook, then I would just pop this in the microwave and it would seriously be just as good. Even the brown rice would 
be just as good. I would just leave it like this and let it cook like that, just with the cap slightly off, and it would be fresh like everything. It just tasted really good. I also always have a hard boiled egg for breakfast, so I just boil all of them ahead of time because this is probably what's the most time consuming that I do. Oh, sorry, my kitchen is really dirty. <laughs> I'm the only one that really cleans it at my house, so it gets pretty gross. Like, no one ever cleans the stove but me. So I let it boil, and then I take it off after about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Usually 15 minutes, just for good measure. And then I just put them in a container, and that way I have Okay, so I'm a big fan of salads, but obviously it's kind of annoying to buy it in a container. No one's actually kind of inflated when you buy it in a container. I have to warn you guys though, seriously, don't try doing all salad diet. It's really dumb. I know a lot of girls have tried to just eat salad all the time. It's not going to work. It's impossible. I'm going to make it convenient for you. I like to eat a salad. Most of my meals are in between meals. And so what I do to try to make it more convenient, I try to chop up all my lettuce at once ahead of time, you know, every three or four days. And so that way all I have to do is just grab some lettuce and take it out and throw some dressing on it. So what I have here is just a bunch of green leaf lettuce. You guys can also use like a bunch of vegetables. And I've already washed this and I've tried to dry it as best as I can. You want to remove all the moisture because the moisture is going to make it go bad quickly. And you also want to use a very sharp knife when you cut or to tear it by hand because if you use a dull knife, what it's going to do is it's going to crush it. Sorry, so I'm just going to... What it's going to do is it's going to crush it and so that way it's going to make it go bad more quickly. So I'm just going to have all the lettuce. I just put in this little container right here, just a little plastic container. So I'm really distracted since so I just came home. I don't live by myself, guys. Please, not buy a house by myself. I just graduated. I wish. I wish I could buy a house. <laughs> so I just put all my lettuce in the container. Like I said, you want to make sure it's as dry as it can possibly be. If you guys have a salad spinner, that'd be perfect. And then you just want to put it in your container. And then just put a towel over it like this. Don't put a lid on it, just put a towel over it. What this is gonna do is it's gonna prevent dehydration, so it's gonna stay crispy, and it's just gonna stay better for longer. And you also want some towels in the bottom as well. Remember, just clean kitchen towels or clean paper towels would work, and it'll make it last a lot longer. And a lot of you guys have asked me what kind of salad dressings I like. I like this Newman's one, it's a low-fat sesame ginger. This one's a little more expensive though. This is $5 or so a bottle. But I also like all these craft ones. They have a lot of good Beslamic vinaigrettes. I just like vinaigrettes just because they have more flavor. You want to stay away from anything that's kind of creamy looking. Those tend to be higher in fat. So I really like any Italian dressing or a Beslamic vinaigrette. I've never tasted a bad Italian dressing or a Beslamic vinaigrette. For fruit, you can also pre-wash it. You know, put it in little containers, just make it convenient and easy to grab. Or you can just, you know, put them in little plastic baggies even, just so you can carry it around with you, grab it, leave it in the fridge, and take it with you whenever you have somewhere to go. That kind of helps you stick to your diet as well. <laughs> So that's it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Really, if you prepared your meals ahead of time, all of your snacks ahead of time, it shouldn't take more than, you know, 45 minutes, an hour max. Even if you're chopping up everything by hand, marinating it, cooking it, it really only takes me maybe 15 minutes to cook a chicken breast. Not that long. You can cook them all at once if you'd want. You know, it really it just comes down to just making it a priority. Just choose a day, you know, find a day to bring your laptop in the kitchen. That's what I do. I bring my laptop in the kitchen. I just seriously watch reality TV. Whatever it is, it's going to keep me amused for an hour. And I just pre-chop, pre-distribute all my food, and it really, really helps you stick to your eating and weight loss goals. And so I hope that helps you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.